What's up everybody, it's Dante86. Um, as I've been saying in my past videos, I said I'm going to start doing more stuff for the gamers out there, but um, this is a request from Twiz85, and um, in my last video about gaming, you know, my collection, um, he asked me what were my top 10 games in the collection. So I've compiled a list, which is hard to do. I've compiled a list of 10 games and 5 honorable mentions, and this is going to be a three-part series. So here, I'm going to give you 10 through 6 today. So here's the list. Most of you are probably looking at this title like, what the heck is that? Zack and Wiki. Very good game for the Wii. A lot of people don't know about it, or they've probably seen the box art, and were like, that looks kitty and lame, and I don't want to play that. I know because I was one of them, but I listened to, but I listened to podcasts and stuff on uh, IGN, and they kept talking about this game just like all the time. So I decided to go ahead and try it out, and it's something that I don't regret. Regret. But this game, notice you see all those different ways they're holding the Wii remote right there. There's the different ways it has you hold the Wii remote in this game, and. You have to solve puzzles, pretty much. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. And see, this is it's a point-and-click game. See, all you're doing is... I'm the star. You know, that's what I'm controlling. And you just walk around like that or whatever. I mean, the graphics are cool. You know, it's a nice little cel-shaded... Uh, cel-shaded look to it. Pretty much just point-and-click. And see, you have Wiki there, and in order to utilize things, you shake the Wii Remote in order to use the, uh, to make it do the bell thing. And you turn enemies into uh, objects to help you figure out the puzzles. And then, to use the items, notice the little, see it's telling me that's how you need to hold the Wii Remote right now. And that's what I'm doing. Now I'm tugging at it, you know. pretty much like a Zelda dungeon point and click style in every single level of this game and some of them are very tough very tough and I mean the reason I like this game is just because of the the way that you control it it's the innovative way to use the uh, Wii remote that a lot of people don't do and then it's a game that makes you think. Games that make you think are about ten times better than things that you don't have to think in. Ah, I left the thing up there. Go get it. And pretty much this game is... It's goofy too. It has a good sense of humor. And... It's just a goofy game. You know, Capcom, they went, on a, went out on a limb and decided to make this game. It's not a bad thing, though. I hope they make a sequel, but I mean, not many people have played this game, so I recommend this to you. I say you should buy it, and I mean, it's not going to be expensive anymore. It's like, I picked it up for 20 bucks, so I'm pretty sure it's not much money anymore, because not many people bought it. So go buy it and support Capcom because they're trying to do something innovative for the Wii. Help, help them out. Go get it. It's a good game. It may be a cutesy kitty looking game, but it's not for kids because kids will not understand it at all. Deep into that darkness Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. This was a pretty cool game. <clears throat> I mean, it was not the typical survivor horror. It was a lot 
different than the Resident Evils and all the other stuff. This was... Yeah, that part's creepy. <laughs> this was a game that, you know, it puts you in the role of this girl you see right here. Alex Ravis, I think was her name. And you're just going through reading about things that happened in the past. And it's, it's like a story with this book, anyway. This book right here that he's about to get. This is one of the creepier parts of the game, too. You go in here to get the book. And this book gives you powers, some kind of demonic powers or whatever. But you have to use that power to go against the evil people or whatever. But yeah, that's how the different people you control. And, you know, you just go through and all the stories of all the different people who have messed with this book come together to get rid of the eternal darkness or whatever. But this is a really good game for the GameCube that you should all try out. It not only messes with... It messes with your head. That's why it's called Sanity's Requiem. A Requiem is the song of the dead. And this game pretty much kills your sanity. Well, that's it for this game. Final Fantasy X. I remember the first time I turned this game on, I was just in awe. This, I think this was one of the first PlayStation 2 games I played, actually. We didn't get a PlayStation 2 for a while after it came out. But I turned it on and I heard the music and I saw the characters and the graphics back in 2002? 2001? It was a one. That was my freshman year in high school. I was pretty much in awe. It's like wow. It's really good graphics and everything. And then my friends had told me how they talk all the time. Just just about everybody has a voice actor and everything and that's cool. Yeah, it was just nice that you had to balance all of your characters to make sure that you um just to make sure that everybody got their things done. Now, if you have not played either one of the versions of this, you shouldn't call yourself a gamer. I mean, it came out on GameCube first. It was supposed to be exclusive for GameCube, which it was for a while. Then it came out on PlayStation and I think computer. And now it's out on Wii. The Wii version, I think, is the best one because of the controls. Some people don't like... Some people would say that the controls aren't good on the Wii or whatever, but... I mean... It works so great. And it's something a little bit more hardcore for the uh, Wii owners. But, I mean, Resident Evil 4, this game puts you in so many tense situations and... I think that's how it maintains the scare factor of this one. It's not so much scary as it is intense. You get scared by the situations you get put in. Now see, this is something that I love playing this on the Wii for. Because I used to have to um, use the sniper rifle for this. But with the precise controls of the Wii controller, you can just do it with the pistol and not waste any of your stronger bullets. Uh, I'm sure if you played this game, you remember this part. Uh, and this game is aged really good on the Wii. I mean, you know, it's aged really well. Even though it came out uh, years ago, it still looks great. And I'm going to die... Oh, shit. <laughs> See, I died. <laughs>
hadn't played in so long and just a bad situation. You are dead. I know y'all. See, I'm not making myself look like I'm good at any of my games. But I am. I just haven't played these in so long. But Resident Evil 4, great game. Go buy it.